Next up on WTV, Spring AP Payment, an improv show, and this week's edition of Trivia. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, January 30th, and I'm Varun Saravana with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. Though the second semester has just started, payment for AP exams are here. Payments for many AP classes were at the start of the school year, but now students can pay for semester classes. Spring AP class payments are made through online school fees. For those that have still not paid for fall or full year classes, they can still do so with the $50 late fee. And for those that would like to drop a class or opt out of the test, a refund request can be made. CCMR facilitator Jamie Vanderpool is in charge of handling AP payments, and the deadline for all transactions and requests is February 10th. Reporting for WTV, I'm Varun Saravanan. Impulse and momentum are at the heart of a recent physics lab. WTV's Haris Rahman explains. Throughout the class, students often have labs prior to a unit they are learning to have better understanding of the content. Every unit we try to at least have an introductory lab so that you guys can get kind of a hands-on feel to the content. We want you guys to be able to kind of engage with the material, kind of make some um, ideas for yourself. It's just supposed to be less confirmatory and more exploratory. One of the most recent projects involved learning about impulse and momentum, where students had to build bumpers to try to reduce the total impact of a car using materials given in class. In the most recent lab, we had we did an impulse lab where we had you guys build bumpers uh, to try to reduce the force that was on the passengers. And so we did go ahead and give you guys a equation at the beginning, um, and it was up to the students to be able to put the pieces together. Students such as Junior Safe Yusuf believe that labs help them understand the concept more. The lab helps us understand momentum, which is what we're doing right now. Personally, I just like her teaching, but I also like the labs. Reporting for WTV, this is Haris Rahman. The Improv Club has been preparing for their first show of the school year. WTV's Alexis Holding has the details. Improv Club has been working on their first improv show this school year. The show is an opportunity for Improv Club members to showcase their work and skills they've gained over their time in the club. Um, well, we're going to be doing scenes, uh, maybe some improv games, and just honestly just having a good time on stage. Uh, we have good chemistry between our, um, the actors, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. The club is open for anyone to attend. The club spends its meetings by playing a variety of games, participating in creative exercises, and designing scenes between actors, which will be similar to the show. It's a great opportunity for y'all to practice your skills. If you do want to be in the show, you should probably join the club beforehand or attend a few rehearsals and practices for it. If not, and you just want to support the actors on stage, you're welcome to come. The details will be coming out, and it would be great to have you there. The club is hosted on Tuesdays during advisory, and the show is Friday in the auditorium at 7 p.m. Reporting for WTV, I am Alexis Holding. With basketball season underway, WTV's Alex Trevino tests students' knowledge on the sport. Hi, I'm Alex, back with today's episode of Trivia with Torino, and today I'll be asking students about basketball. Who has the most points scored in the NBA? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Curry? Is it Stephen Curry or something? What, what, what was it? Stephen Curry? Dude! Actually? No! Um, is it LeBron James? Who has the most points scored in the WNBA? Sue Bird. I don't even know. You don't know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Emily Dickinson. Yeah. Um, well, I don't, really, I don't really watch sports. I don't have cable, so. Who has the most three-pointers scored in the NBA? Um, hmm. Is it Stephon Curry? Oh, that's easy. Stephen Curry. Michael Jordan? <laughs> Stephen Curry. Perfect. How many times has the Liberty girls basketball team been to state? Is it two? I'm gonna say three. Three times. Four times. Four times. Reporting for WTV, I'm Alex Trevino. If you are looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. 
If you are a sophomore or junior interested in joining the Independent Study and Mentorship Program at Liberty High School, please scan the following QR code for application information. All applications are due by tomorrow. For more information, contact Coach Whitcomb at WhitcombH at FriscoISC.org. Attention AP students, AP exam payment for spring AP courses is open through February 10th. Payment will be made through online school fees and payment finalizes the student's AP exam registration. Students in a fall or full year AP course who have not paid for their exam can pay by contacting CCMR facilitator Jamie Vanderpool by February 10th. There is a $50 late fee per exam. February 10th is the final AP registration, payment, and refund request deadline for Frisco ISD. That's it for today's daily update. This is Varun Sarvanan for Wingspan TV.